Hi guys, it's Brian and Daniel, and you're watching Tuesday on Days of the Week. Now this is a special rooftop edition of Days of the Week. Mm. Thought we'd spice it up a little. Because I got sick of looking at us in the ill lighting in the kitchen. We're just going to get straight to the question. We ain't going to waste no time, girls. We got nothing to say. Scott, okay, I have a huge issue with Scott's video this week. The straight fashion versus the gay fashion. Scott, you're part of the problem. There's no such thing as gay fashion. No, that's true. And I mean, love ya, but not all gay men wear tight pink t-shirts and bootleg jeans. And how could you hate skinny jeans? They like... make you look skinny. And I know you love that. Come on. Skinny jeans look good on people. Well, not all people, obviously. Yeah. But they've become way more than a trend. They're a staple. Uh huh. A girl, a girl cannot wear a knee-high boot in a flare. She's got to wear a skinny jean. Boot cut is a way of the past. I don't know, Scott. You got under my skin. Me too. When you said you hated skinny jeans. We're not posers. Or hipsters. Seriously. Hmm. But seriously, uh, what is something that we do that's a straight fashion thing? <sighs> Judging by your wretched stereotypes, Scott, I would have to say that a straight thing that I do would be um, I wear sports shorts, like sweat shorts, a lot. Not a lot, like, not like out in public. But, like, if I'm going to walk the dog at night, I'll, like, just throw on my shorts. What do I do? I don't know. I don't know. Scott's rules are so crazy that I don't know. I feel like a straight man would wear this. Yeah, a fashionable straight man. Roland wants to know... Rolling! If we could rid the world of one fashion item, what would it be? I... Crocs, obviously. <laughs> Polar fleece. I have a problem when business ladies wear sneakers wear sneakers to, to work. work. Oh my god, me too! Okay, now this is my issue. Because sneakers look horrendous with nylons and a skirt. But, I, I understand the thing. comfort, and yeah. you've like gotta walk somewhere, or whatever, but, you know what, I've seen you get on the subway, and then get off the subway and go into work. You're not walking far, you just, I, I, you can get a pair of comfortable flats. Believe it or not, they are out there, so I suggest you invest, because you look like an idiot. <laughs> Oh my god. Banana bangs. Banana bangs, my god. So this lady walking in front of us was dressed very ugly. And I mean, By our that's skin. harsh, but whatever. She had on fake Chanel glasses and a fake Louis Vuitton clip in her hair. You don't understand how people can... People, people would want that Louis Vuitton clip because it says Louis Vuitton. Because it's like, ooh, it's Louis Vuitton, it's expensive, it's fashionable. But you got it from Chinatown for 50 cents. Exactly. It's like, you're we not portraying... We know it's not real. <laughs> yeah. You're not portraying a fashionable human because you have a Louis Vuitton fake clip in your hair. And this goes for real Louis Vuitton, too. Having something that's like a status symbol. Yes. But not wearing it nice. I'm sure your outfit costs a million dollars, but like, you don't need to wear every single Louis Vuitton fucking item that you have, or every single Chanel item that you have, or every single Gucci item that you have, you don't need to do it! Sorry. Jesus. Miles, what is a fashion faux pas that we are guilty of? Um, every day. I'm sure I'm guilty of one or another. Yeah. Like, denim on denim. That's a pretty fashion faux pas right there. And Ryan, um, 
staying in the closet, does it help the gay rights movement? No, it doesn't help. I don't know how it would, because the more, like, the more people power, the better, I think. I agree. I completely agree. What's your favorite kind of tea? <laughs> Let's ask, like, a good question. your favorite kind of tea? I can't ask that. Why not? It's a stupid question. What would you do for a Klondike <laughs> bar? Absolutely not. So we just recently purchased a shit ton of scented candles. Yeah, went to Bath and Body Works and cleared them out. We had a gift card. Any hoodle. What's your favorite scent? <laughs> What's your favorite scent? Ta-ta for now from the Toronto rooftop terrace. We'll check you later next week. See you next week, guys. Ooh, it's starting to rain. Good timing. <laughs> Bye. Bye.